we are committed to transforming Africa into the hub that fits the world. It was this dream and the persistence of this young man that earned him the center stage. With vast arable land across Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa accounts for only 14.6% of global food supply. Low yields and post-harvest losses are the major causative factors of this low performance. Watching Amere as a youth call member took the bull by the hand to address wastages in the agriculture sector around Oyo State, where he served with a view to raising the income of smallholder farmers through increased productivity. The day I'll start feeling fulfilled is the day I can comfortably say that our solution is the only solution that smallholders think about when they think about agriculture. The Ideas for Action is the third in the series by the World Bank Group and Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. The focus on youth is clear as 43% of the global population falls in this category. Uganda's Andrew Makose came second, raised by a single parent who got blind after an accident and lost her job. Andrew is converting visual impairment to reducing breast cancer death rates among women and increasing the employability of visually impaired women. Over 45,000 women are dying in Uganda every year of breast cancer because we're having only two mammography units with one machine which is broken down. While India's Peter Sinha is converting unproductive waterlogged land into fish farming units to generate sustainable livelihoods and provide food security. The female traders are just more disciplined and conscious and they, they, they repeat and they know who to sell to, how to sell to, how to negotiate well. The World Bank Group believes today's youth have the most stake in achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals and will implement this global agenda by contributing their unique solutions and shaping the future. From the World Bank headquarters in Washington, D.C., I'm Leah Cutting, Baba Tunde, NTA News.